Well, a fiery car crash has left one person dead and shocked drivers around 10th and Emerson. It was a crazy scene. Eyewitnesses say it was unlike anything they've ever seen. And News 8's Eric Feldman live at 10th and Emerson with all the details. Eric? You know, it's amazing that this intersection is open right now. It was just hours ago that there were four streets shut down from this massive crash that you don't really see in residential areas of Indianapolis. And while it is open, you can still see, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but you can still, still see some glimmering from the ground, presumably glass. And when some cars are going by, you can hear some crunching. And today we did hear from an eyewitness from that dramatic crash from this afternoon. The moments right after this car created a path of destruction. They had us write police reports out. My hand was shaking so bad that it was it was amazing. Teresa Barley says she had just enjoyed dinner with her dad and brother. In their car, the light just turned green at 10th and Emerson when. It's like a rocket had to be doing at least 100 miles an hour. Her car was right behind an Indigo bus, sideswiped by that speeding driver. It was so fast, I couldn't even tell you what color or kind of car it was. So close to her car that it shook. I'm just glad we weren't in front of the Indigo bus because we probably wouldn't have been alive. But she says she did see that car careen off into the intersection, ran into this car. The debris just flew. It was like rain in car parts. And she believes two other cars were also hit, all ending up with this car barreling into a tree. Something like I had never heard before. It was something I don't want to hear again either. It, you could just hear it blow. Witnesses say they rushed to save the driver as flames billowed from the car, but the car door was locked. It shut down four streets on Indianapolis's east side, shocking a nearby barbershop owner. There's somebody in the car. With an alphabet's worth of evidence, the cleanup and investigation continues, and witnesses now say the thoughts go out to whoever drove this charred car. I just pray for whoever it was, his family, because that is not the way to go. So we did not get a briefing from IMPD, so we don't know really anything about this investigation or anything about this driver. We will wait to see if they will update us on that later tonight or even over the weekend. As for that Indigo bus, I did go up to a spokesperson or rather an employee who was out here and asked him if everyone on that bus was OK. He said he couldn't tell me at this time. For now, I'm live on the east side. Eric Feldman, Wish TV News 8.